So I'm here at Fairmount Makati waiting for the press conference of the Philippine Premier League. So excited about it because we it's the first time that we're gonna know which teams are joining, how many teams are joining, and who will be the uh, broadcast partner of this um, refreshed Philippine League. So stay tuned. Okay, so here are the colleagues on my side. Jordan Samar, my co-host. Ultimate um, Fan Hub Podcast. Of the ultimate. Yes. So this is two thirds of Ultimate <laughs> Fan Hub Podcast. And our episode five guest, Sir Earl Everidia. And ang tito mong football blogger, si Dreamer. <laughs> gumaganti ako kasi ginagan kasi sinama niya ako sa vlog niya. So gumaganti ako. Go follow him, ang, ang tito mong football blogger on YouTube. Facebook, do you have Instagram? My Instagram, ba? Yeah. <laughs> so there. Facebook, YouTube, lang mo. So we're still waiting for the kick off, kick off again, you know, for the start of the press conference, the Philippine Premier League. And you know what? I forgot to show this one. This is awesome. They have flash drive as giveaway, and I can't help but be excited. What's inside? Sana may article na para hindi na ako mamroblema for dugout Philippines. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna walk a little bit because I have to interview the slide for a secret project we're working on. This is the reason why I have a secret project. Jay, what is that? Wait. Lang. So Jay, what is that secret project? Of course, it's a secret project. But I'm going to tell you, since I'm here in the vlog of Shiza, yung tuloy ng story nito nandun sa vlog ko picture lang yon pero sure picture says a thousand man. so abangan nyo ma siguro baka mga mid ng year or end of the year clue pogi yon may clue daw sige na nga give away yon yun ang clue namin pwede ding sabihin pasabog yung ano yung secret project na yun sobrang pasabog cause kahit ako hindi ko na imagine na gagawin ko yun 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 so props to this guy na convinced niya ako na it's a once in a lifetime stuff bibihira yan that if you wanted to make it big in this industry that's your platform Ako, so, tinanong din ako eh. Pagkatanong na pagkatanong sa akin, wala na akong ibang sinabi. Sige, hindi na tayo dyan. <laughs> so, yun. So, actually, hanggang mamaya kasama ko tong si Tito J. Kasi, mamimit na, may meeting kami kasama si... Yun. <laughs> si Yun. Pogi. Kaya ako ko sa inyo, magsawa muna kayo ngayong araw na ito sa vlog ko. <laughs> yeah. So, the continuing story of this vlog will be update, will be at ang Tito Mong Football Vlogger on YouTube. Follow on YouTube. <laughs> so we just finished the press conference of the Philippines Football League. <laughs> Starbo to yung Starbo eh. Anyway, so we just finished the, con the, uh, the, con the press conference of the Philippine Premier League. It's about to start on late March. Um, we have here um, the media officers of Ceres FC, Ivan Gayares and Ace Bright. Also, Ali Borromeo is in attendance, and so does um, Coach Chotre is grazing the event. They are the official media partner of the Philippines Philippine Premier League, uh, which uh, will be featured at five. Plus, not on not on ESPN five, but in five plus, the new network that's under TV five. So, we'll roam around, perhaps ask um, some people about their thoughts on the league. Ko cornering ko mamaya si ano si Tito J para collab nung <laughs> nung vlog ko and his. So, back in the field. So I'm here with Jordan and Sir Ernest. For from Stat PH. Yep, Stat PH. Hey okay, Jordan, that's the first time I'm cover a football event. How is it? Actually, okay, lang. Nakaka-overwhelm kasi daming mga familiar yet 
hindi ko kilala yung pangalan. So, it's good to be here. Tsaka, hindi na pwede puro basketball. Diba? So, football din naman tayo. Sir Ernest, what about your thoughts sa uh, launch ng EPL? Uh, ako naman, may experience ako sa football. Twice ako naging captain ng Intrams team namin. Oh, wow! <laughs> so, yan. Yeah, no? uh, pero, yun nga, uh, since uh, I want to learn this, uh, uh, I know the rules naman. It's time to join the football uh, coverage once again and learn this sport all over again. Alright, thank you guys! Okay, so guys, I have here someone very special, Coach Chot Reyes of PB5. So, Coach, um, question lang. Um, your partnership with the Philippine Premier League and 5 plus, um, what are you looking forward to? Uh, well, we are looking forward to, uh, first of all, being able to get uh, great and exciting games uh, because, uh, as you all know, as you very well know, that's the, that's what makes great content. If we have good games, exciting games, and we'll have more people watching, and uh, hopefully that uh, spurs the continued growth of football in the country. Um, you've mentioned earlier that you played football. So how close um, this PPL is to your uh, not only PPL but football, the sport in general. Uh, I I played uh, right out. I don't know if that's still the position today, but uh, I was uh, right out uh, in uh, in Ateneo uh, uh, in my younger days. Uh, that's why you know I, I I play the sport. I understand the sport, and, and it's very close to my heart. That's why you know we, I believe in its potential, and, and uh, that's why we want to keep uh, uh, providing great local football content uh, to the Filipino audience. Thank you so much, Coach. There Thank you have it, Coach Trot Reyes of TV5. Okay, so here's the other women in the industry. So, this is B of Rappler. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Um, how is it? Um, how do you think is the PPL going to impact football? Well, it looks very promising because I think the smart thing strategies they're doing are actually like, you know, there's actually a direction to it and these are experts who are handling the league and Marisa Maya has been proven with the type in really. So hopefully like our Philippine football will also be as popular as how Thai football is right now. And what to you is the importance of finally media coverage for our football? Yeah, honestly, like covering football has been so difficult, and I guess like since he'll be hopefully providing more avenues for us and more media access for us to cover football. Yeah, like hopefully I'm excited to write more about Philippine football. There you have it, the other girl in the football area, B, on the vlog <laughs> with how the devils are you out there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have lunch. <laughs> so here I have is Paolo Delos Ario of CNN Philippines. No, actually I'm not with CNN uh, anymore. Or, sorry, I'm, not with No, it's CNN. okay. It's okay. Uh, just to clarify, uh, I'm with uh, Signal TV right now, but I also do commentary work for ESPN5 for football, and um, I also do PPA. So most most sports I do, yeah. So that being said, he's with um, ESPN5 doing football commentary. Well. Props to your Suzuki Cup commentary. Thank you, thank you very much. Been watching it. Anyway, Paolo, um, Philippine Premier League. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, you'll be doing the commentary. On I don't know about that yet, but uh, right. fingers so, crossed that that will happen. How excited are you that finally we'll have TV coverage for TPL? Well, as they mentioned in the press conference, hoping so important that uh, we have TV press coverage because. Um, to make it viable, especially to reach the masses, you, can, you need it. You need it. Definitely, you need it. I mean, um, even though they say, "Hey, social media is a very big thing," kailangan may live stream, kailangan may this and that. The, even if you look at the streams and like how many people watch these games, you have thousands, sure. But then the potential viewership it can get through free TV is um, in the millions and you don't have to have someone uh, who's completely into it. You can have bandwagon fans, you can have, and those are very important in the game right now, uh, in any growth of any sport. You need the casual viewers as well as the hardcore ones. So uh, for those uh, hardcore fans who are saying, that, oh, you're not, you're not into football, you, you know what, you invite them to watch, you don't necessarily have to educate them hardcore. Uh, but just enjoy the entire occasion with them and you know 
with all the plans that they have in terms of fan engagement, it could be quite the experience uh, as a sports viewer and not necessarily just as a hardcore. Iba pa rin kasi talaga, diba? Pag may TV coverage. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, ayun. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. And nice to see you. So those were the clips that I have taken at the press conference of the Philippine Premier League earlier at Fairmont, Makati. Um, I still have one more to shoot in a while and I can't help but be excited about it. It's a career changing stuff. But yeah, laters. So I may have to close this vlog about the Philippine Premier League. Excited. Stay tuned for more updates on that team and excited all the more to cover um, a new breed, the rebirth of Philippine Football League.